She got some legs, so you got some nice legs though. <laughs> well, say what you want, I mean, about Witcher, but to admit, I I never thought I'd say this, but I actually fell in love with the game. Oh dear. Anyways, let's move on, eh? I'm pretty sure there'd be a ton of things to do right about now. Look for boats along the coastal and near harbors. Uh, we'll see about those whenever I get a chance. You can go off a grave axe tongue, we'll counter attack, and then she won't be able to poison you. Well, sure she may not be able to poison me, but I sure as shit will poison her with death. Yes, I like to poison all the little bandits with poison with death. I can die a very horrible, painful, slow death. I like fall on the ground and they're just like they're like, they're like and they're the blood spewing this. Okay, I'm gonna get a little carried away. Right. Oh. It's a refuge. Talk to Aithal. Hold on, first off. I know, I know. Broken flowers. Quite frankly, these ones I can mostly do them by foot. Like a bar, a blacksmith, shopkeeper. I also know that. Oh, what's this? Oh, not bad. Well, one thing that I would really want to get my hands on is like a proper salesman, which I, which I could. Uh, how come? How might I get? How might I say? <sighs> I have a bit of a yawn coming. You know, to sell out, to sell out quite a lot of shit that I don't need. A lot of people do here. They build boats. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty dope. So, so, what I got here? Welcome, welcome. Do come here. So they knew the guy was gay, but whatever. Let's see what he got. A friend of Dandelions, looking for Eliel. You've come to the right spot. Oh, he's an elf. Service. Need something shortened. Patch your trousers, down your socks. You, Eliel? Yes? I'll pick your jaw off the floor. <laughs> Sorry, I thought. Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, so it's that. Wait here. What? Oh! Any better? Oh! So you're... Elia. <laughs> did you... <laughs> How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. And then? What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Huh? Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Oh. All right. Um, last time you seen Dandelion. Dandelion visit your shop. Oh. I tried many times to talk him into a decent yes. tablet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago, he brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Ooh. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Alright. What did he talk about? What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Mm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about calc steel. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick bow. In oh. fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. 
You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned mm -hmm. him at a stake in Hierarch Square. Oh. And as he perished, all the goings on impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. Huh? Oh man. That's one way to go out. Alright, why, why did he dress that way? Out of curiosity. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. Oh! I'm a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian Countess one day, a Dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? It must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. So this guy is a nectar, right? Alright, thank you for the help. Thanks for your help. And uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Right then. Greetings. Ah, uh, so good in stock. Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Well, all right then. At least can get rid of all this junk with them. Good. Minus seven. What the hell? A mask, really? Huh? Shit. Well, at least he got this one here. A bird mask on as well, too. Yeah, minus seven. I need this shit. Minus three. Nope. What about this one? Minus one. Nope. This one. Minus forty-one. Hell no. 44. Nope. 27. Nope. Yeah, Alright. What else we got here that I wouldn't need? A nope. I said ne. There you go. 94. Not a chest in hell. A 7. Nope. Nope. Forget about it. Shit. Well, at least it, at least at least hear that, I suppose. Very well then. So long. All right. What the hell are you doing? Hello. Shit. Uh huh. Yeah. Actually, we'll see about that one over there. Just more for the curiosity of it, you know. By the way, can I put on the mask? Can I become a furry? <laughs> or the mask? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh man, I love it. What am I doing? There you go. A dwarf. I ran with the sword. Sword makes me feel good. Oh shit. Yeah, right. I really... I really dig this sword design. I won't deny. Stand and fight. Stand and fight, really? You again. Some more bruises on your ass heel already. Oh God, I say, victory will be mine this time. Half practice with shield and sword, many a headless scarecrow around here. <laughs> Heed my warning and stand and fight. Ah, <sighs> this is over with. Duly heeded. Now show me what you got.
Pretty good to me, they say. What a faggot! Enough. Yes, but next time. There be no I next time. Billberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. This guy is an idiot. I really dig the mask, though. Not to take it off, I have no clue, and don't ask me how. I kind of, I kind of dig, you know, like a. Uh, Boo we boo me again and I'll give you a reason to boo even longer. You hear me, feller? Right. You got some more things over here too. The location. Da -da 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 -da. There you go. What's going on here? I really I mean I said it, I said no, like you look like a furry now. <laughs> But fuck it, I, I love it. This is art. Raw meat. Meat good, so del very delish. Alright. And at least where I can get some of Something over here, right? All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right. So, in that case, you got. Oh my! Even three. Boom! Oh my! Ah, I look so good. Minus 9, minus 2, minus 23. Much better. Alright, seems about right. The question is, I mean, I... Oh. Ah, there we go. Anyways, <laughs> keep it on, I, I, I dig it. Anyways, I know I got some new stuff over here too. Probably minus thirty, really. Uh, not thinking that these sword like too much, you know. Oh well. You nearly drowned. Hmm, hold on a sec. Eh, totally not dodgy at all. Why would it ever be dodgy? Well, I don't know. Hey, so maybe not, you go fuck yourself. I like that. That's the best dialogue ever. <laughs> what village are you from? Realize, since you're an idiot, you guys run for the Zima. You've mistaken me for someone else. You're the only one here who's made a mistake. Now step up some crowds, quick! Oh dear. What a god here. Leave him alone. And who might you be? Temple Guard undercover. Ah, uh, concerned citizen. Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town. You're making a mistake. Leave him alone. And if we don't. Don't die. Okay, I have to convince you. If you don't, I'll have to kick your faces in. I mean, dismember them. That guy over there just, just keeps watching too. Oh dear. There. So 
Oh, but if we go, I'm a merchant. Try not to come around here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean, both, yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. Won't you see you some. Why can't I? Why can't I, not, I? I can't intimidate him. Why can't I slice? I mean, tear this guy apart. Novigrad, the beats. Oh wait, wait a moment. Oh lord. What have we here now? The best stock in all Novigrad. No need to push, enough for all comers. Uh, no one to push. Very good. And as before trade, always. Mm. Let me have a look. Leasing to sell off, you know, the, uh, the thing that I wouldn't need. Ooh, garlic. Onion, you dope! That's onion, you re- I'm, I'm just talking to myself. And yes, I'm that harsh to myself. Twenty-six. Oh. Fifty-three. Thirty-seven. Twenty-two. 53, 24, 43, 19, 33, 28, 47, 24. I mean, I gotta get rid of these swords somehow, right? After all, I mean, a witcher, and these are quite expensive at best. What the yamong? Thirty-one, thirty-nine. Oh man, thirty. What a retard. Minus three. This has quite a stock with swords, I'd say. And got the Carabella. Eh. I don't know. Whatever. Thirty-two. All right. There you go. Some good, uh, some good onion. Eh, whatever. That'll do, I'd say. That'll do. Fish. G dried fish. Gutted fish. Alright. I bid you farewell, Lou. Bye. <coughs> right, right. I'll give you something if you keep begging of me all the damn time. I am hungry. Are there a hand around here somewhere? Yeah, there is. <laughs> An egg. Like a chicken. I'm just killing like their their livestock, but they they don't they don't kid.
The guards, they really don't give a shit as well, too. Hello, merchant. What do you offer? Welcome. What can I get the honourable gentleman? New poo lanes, perchance? I've not got a true pair, but they'll be the same size. All right. See, let's see what you get. If they got. Fine. Show me what you got. So what don't I got? Something for everyone. Seek and you shall find. Cheap too. I choose to do my service here, you ungrateful piece of shit. Eh. Casket. Why the fuck does he have a fucking a freaking casket on him? Jesus Christ. Now this will probably sell off well this that dude. Eh, fuck. Eh, whatever. The swords are quite a little question with best, but whatever. Thanks. Come again. Chimps it gets right here. Time to give me food. Hold on, I'm not really much in the city to, to, to change uh, his looks, but hey, what I got here? Looking for a barber? Well, you found one. Welcome. I'll plow and shave the gentleman's longing for half price. Give me a haircut. As uh, long as your hands aren't too shaky. Alright, let's see. I'm like a new haircut for one. Shaved, except for a ponytail. Long and loose. She in the sides. Long and loose. All right. This is not what I wanted. What do you mean, not what you wanted? Are you cut and quaffed? You are, and even as even can be, I'd say. Wrong cut, wrong quaff. This is not the look I wanted. And this is not the fate I wanted. I was to be an alderman in Mahakan. Instead, I shave and cut traps and ragamuffins. Life deals what it deals. You shrug and you take it. Oh, whatever. I'll go with it. I really like him. Actually, I'm trying to like it a little too. I mean, all right. He looks a little emo, though. <laughs> all right. See what we got over here. No, oh dear. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. Fine, I'll wait. I'll wait. It won't take long. Good. It turns out he'll not come My off. uncle's in the circle lot because he comes on our souls. Then you have to put a fever. Where'd you get the big? There. Yes. 
Longest afternoon of my life. Oh dear. Read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe. No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. Oh. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See him later? See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Farewell then. Thank you very much. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Oh, screw it. Tell me to piss off? You tell him to piss off? Well, guess what? I'll beat you down to a pulp. Let's see how you think about that. Yeah. More then. Do something. Yes, I am. Oh, whatever. Alright. Out of my way. Right, what I got over here? Oh dear. Um, I smell a fight. So I smell. This baronet's love lets fill up. Shouldn't interest you. The baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. <sighs> oh dear. Oh dear. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep. Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavellette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Madame Voorhees in Vizima. Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh, talk. When the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you run afoul of Var Emrys? No. You'd be long dead if that were so. It seems, then, that you share some interests. But I shan't question you out of doors. Will you accept my invitation? Tell me what brings you here. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbund. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some Oh dear. Version? Fine. I'm all, I'll do it. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. Doesn't the mask bother them a little bit? I guess not. I want to see Jared like with like a long hair. Fuck yeah. So what do you got over here this time? You hear that? What's going on? Oh Christ! I'm gonna have to race down, wouldn't I? We've arrived. 
My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color. For horses, too. My coin's in the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised it didn't salute you, General. Know a lot about horses. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must mm -hmm. say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just I trying knew to stay it. Out. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. My one looks even the one they got looks even better, but whatever. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Uh, fuck it. Radovid's encamped nearby. Redanian chestnut might want to impress its king. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. The sooner the better, I suppose. Oh, dear. My disappointment is to... It's quite something. He started off well, but he fucked up in the middle of the way. Holy shit. One down. Ah. My fingers feel a little weird. Roach runs a whole lot better, I'll tell you that. Don't spare the horse. I'll agree on that. Almost there. Come on, Witcher. Let's see what you're made of. I like, you know, like, the fact like, he keeps taunting me verbally, but the AI is crippling Don't him. Alright. What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. <laughs> now, could I talk to your chambermaid, my lady? Oh, lady. Yes, Molly. That is why you came here after all. Yes, yes. Lovely young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Right, then. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelions rescued time and time again? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm always rescuing him. That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from a hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says dandelions are good for nothing layabout. Can you imagine? Oh, I clearly do. But... Mm -hmm. <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Well... Uh, don't I know his sister? Where was that? 
Hmm. Oh dear. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister. Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for oh. her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister. I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Well, remember the last conversation then. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise with the canals by the light of the moon. And they got mugged. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Oh, that'll do. Thank you very much. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Mm -hmm. Here you go. I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Many thanks. They also got someone up here, though, too. Right. When we have arrived. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? But of course! Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. No doubt it seems shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. Hmm, it's already? Okay, good. I'll be on my way soon. <sighs> hmm. What if the free city of Novigrad and it's still intact? Good. And here we are. Thank you for your company. You're welcome. Likewise. See ya. Should I try again and get a get a, get a different haircut? Seriously though, I'm thinking about it. Give me a second. Right. <clears throat> You'll probably save his old too, because why the hell not? Yeah. <clears throat> I've got the hiccups now. And now Rosa Var Attire. You know, chase the pains all the way to the garden. Oh, did you catch it? No, you're not. Right, but it's slipped through the back. Fucker. What do you want? Alright. Hey. That's getting a little, uh. <laughs> Rosa Var. I want to see Rosa Var Attire. Attire. Oh, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I bet you you're not needed. On your way now. We'll see about that, motherfucker. We'll see about that. Hold on a sec. Ah, there we go. Got my eye on you. Yeah, yeah, good to know, Fagut. Let's do it now. Move it. 
That over here has a bit of a little thing here, right? But no. <laughs> you know what? I guess I could. I mean, I might. I don't know. You dear hit me, you shit! Don't you dare hit at me, you hear me? I'll kill you again, you little shit. I'll kill you. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Why should... I mean, you should just kill them, I guess. Kill! I'm fucked. I am so fucked, I know. Well, that ended out well. I have lost coin. I don't think so. Yeah, I know. Oh dear. I know. At least here we get to look at those leggies. My god, those leggies are perfect. Look at them. They're perfect. Perfect leggies, I say. The character statistics provide all sorts of interesting information and lets you admire Jot's equipment. Okay, good. In addition to your immediate effects, many choices give rise to consequences which only make themselves long afterwards. Yeah, I don't mean, I don't know, I... I... <laughs> I really want to, you know, to, let's say, kick the rats or whatnot, but... Clearly, as you can tell, I mean, they're pretty... They're pretty overpowered. Alright, let's try again. I'll see about the cook one this time. I'm the new cook. I'm the new cook. And them pointy things sticking out behind you, they your cleavers? Yes, they are. Away with you, Fabian. Ah, fuck it. I need to get in there, but how? How oh, well I? I don't know. Uh, it's quite the place, I'd say. Damn, she thick. Huh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Something of the matter. What am I doing? I don't know. Not even I know anymore. Hold on. Wait, is there a dead guy over there? I love louder. And the moment I... Uh, I mean... Eh. He committed suicide then. Okay, good. You fancy men like me. Whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Baratra to you, and I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss. Well, there she is. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? Oh, uh, yes. What are you doing here, Fakebrun? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac, 
my new swordplay instructor, correct? Why, yes. Send him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But miss, he just claimed to be the cook. He's a cheat, he is. <laughs> See, Frederick, did I not warn you not to jest with the guards? They haven't any sense of humor whatever. Now Fair take enough. Master de Bergerac to the training room. Quickly. As you say, miss. Really wish you could end this guy's misery. And the ice problem you what? what you've got yourself into. I hope so too. This rose has got a downright beast in temper. Shows no mercy once she grips his sword. <laughs> Take care not to hurt the little miss. You'll learn the ambassador's eye. Wooden sword. Follow me. Sure, sure. I apparently have to equip this uh, wooden sword. What the fuck is it? There you go. Right then. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Good to start with. I must know your work. Good. <sighs> what else? You think I'll go eat on you this time? Damn it! <laughs> well thought. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your sword play instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I'm a witcher here in business. I'm a witcher. I'm looking for A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. <laughs> Good, this good. Is so exciting. What exciting about it? Uh, what's so exciting about it? Living on the edge, tracking then facing down beasts, sleeping under the stars. Oh, it must be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Try fighting a zoogle while up to your neck in sewage. Nothing quite like it. Not one of the high points, I suppose. Wait, weren't you about to ask me something? Why, yes. Need to ask about dandelion. I came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sand horse. I believe he thought he was wooing. Wooing? I mean, he wasn't. But you had some sort of relationship. If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Oh. Seems my sisters had but enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. <sighs> Suit yourself then. How about now, huh? Gladly. Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. <laughs> what are you two lovebirds whispering about? 
You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Vaartra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Oh. Dandelion mixed you two up? Wait a minute. You mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. Hmm. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. Oh. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang that. <laughs> oh. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Easy. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially with this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? What? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Who's telling that he prays? Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman, not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Kaviri? He referred to her as Kalanetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kaviri. Kaviri. Ask Zoltan about this Kalanetta. Ah. Uh. Dandelion act strange lately? Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? What? The person's in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Uh-huh. So why are they Novigrad? What are two young Nilfgaardian aristocrats doing in Novigrad? Dying of boredom. Hmm? Papa's a diplomat. He also has many business dealings in Novigrad. He's a member of the Trade Corporation. Takes us along everywhere he goes, and must then find us new tutors in each spot. And so in Novigrad, the task fell to the poet Dandelion, Rosa's betrothed. Edna! Mm -hmm. Interesting politics. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? All right. How's the war going? Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid and on who captures Novigrad first. Oh. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city, never taking sides, always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And oh, they yeah. say the city's treasuries bursting with enough to equip two armies. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. Given though there might be a bit of war at some point. And the Emperor the uh, the cohorts. Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. So I see. Changing subjects. Should go now. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Eh, sure. Where and when? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. <laughs> and 
anyways. You get my beautiful steel sword back. Here we go. I think he has that one, right? Eh. Should be. At least the, uh... At least it matches pretty goddamn well. Hold on. Kaysen? 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 Yeah, pretty good. Yep, this is the sword. What else can I do? Hmm. Much better, I suppose. Way much, way better now. Right. Piss off! None of your kind will get in here on my watch. Cheat yourself. Whatever, faggot. Itch. Now consult with Zolitan. Besides, hold on a sec. No, 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 no. Inventory, alchemy, there we go. Blue mutagen. Devil's puffball, moon dust. Oh dear. Ocean cat. Good. Very, very good. Mm, fair enough. Sure. Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. How many people's lives have you saved? How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay? From Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question. How many? None. That's right. There's something to think about, folks. Creatures fierce in the mouth. Put all around him and his tail slick between his legs. Come on, people. Go back a minute, they said. It'll pay off. Why? I was a good witch. Come on. Suddenly, up he drops on his knees. There he goes, at least. Now he can like stop his racism up his ass or whatnot. What village do you from? Will I just 
Why are you running here, you retard? And he keeps running. He, I, these villagers, I'll never understand them. State went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place, and rounded the sorry sap up. British things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could be. It wasn't possible. That would dandelion is what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? I think it got something. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What she supposedly like if it's not? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that means it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Alright, who's Priscilla? Who's this Priscilla? A Troveritz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Makes a dandelion with a pair of tits. Oh. Oh. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. Ah, uh, it's big news, I'd say. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, alright. Maybe more? Oh. Like his head's on fire. Lassie's got him rattling. Alright, guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Hummers troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Ah. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. Oh. We'll see. Oh, clearly I'm not gonna go insane, aren't I? Oh, no, 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 no. Why would I ever go insane? <sighs> All right, and on the beds we go. Hmm, a mob. No one started running, screaming. Oh dear. I think he's dead. He didn't even move. Alright. What the hell is this? Doesn't open. Oh, whatever. This look, looks like a fun place, alright. Here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Huh? And there should be. Hmm. Any day now. In mere seconds. That mask is so goddamn fitting. These girls. 
hands long have yearned for your tender caress to bind our fortunes. Damn what the stars are. Rend my heart open, then your love profess a winding, weaving fate to which we both atone. You flee my dream come the morning. And suddenly a vampire attacks. Berries talk, lilac sweet to dream. Yeah. This one makes me sleepy. I knew it. To find your heart, it's past. Yeah, creepy old dude. Why I ever growing, hardening into stone amidst the cold to hold you in a heated embrace. You flee, I dream come the morning. Your scent, berries tart, lilac sweet. To dream of raven <sighs> twisted, stormy, of violet eyes. Pussy. I know not if fate would have us live as one Or if by love's blind chance we've been bound The wish I whispered when it all began Did it forge a love you might never have found You flee my dream come the morning Get a room. Of raven locks and twisted stormy of violet eyes. You're getting sleepy too. And did the creepy <laughs> creepy old dude. Let me Green guess. Murdered some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. I've come to hear music. A murderer? Oh dear. War on. Some die. Oh please, I'll argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. It was the mold hag. The risk is noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I'll get that old hack soon. Music. Music. I'll get her soon. Can't you oh, I will. The fuck it is. Run, you. You better run your shit. Permit shits. me to introduce uh, <laughs> this year's persona. Known also as Calavetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion had left nothing out. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? 
<laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. <sighs> if the old hag starts some shit, I swear. Sneaking around. An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuben's vault. Shit. And I've not seen him since. Think the heist was a bust? Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. The biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally. But... Got it. You're not a fan. And what did he do to you? <clears throat> Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Rubin, Carl mm. of the Cleaver Veress, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least he didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. I'll be in deep then. Looks like you gotta risk a dandelion again. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax, I'll get him out of this. I've gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Ruven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Ruven runs the bathrooms. Careful, he's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's in. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Sure, sure. And the heist, and the heist. Fair enough. Wait. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Yeah, don't close the door in my face now. Level 13. Good. They're all drunk or what? Christ. Thankfully, I miss there by inches at best. Alright. Anybody there? Open up. That thought it used to be a thing. In medieval times, till the bubonic plague appeared. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Busy with what? Busy with what? Entertaining important guests. What yeah, the fuck? Case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia, and I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> oh. I uh Sound pretty much like I'm alright. See <laughs> Hoven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. What a name. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Uh, let me guess, a brawl's gonna break out in the dressing room. I'm guessing, I guess. Uh, Your equipment will be safe. Uh, okay. No naughty bitch showing, right? Good. Splendid. Sigiru will await in the next room. Alright. 
Good, good. Oh, yeah. Ever heard of towels for fuck's sake? Show some dignity. Easy, Cleaver. All son Junior is a dead man. I'll have my scribe to Why the hell are they doing over here? You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when and only when all of us say I. Oh, look where he did that tattoo, they'd say. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiping loop. Who the fuck are you? Real Vink and introduce me. And the w Eh. I think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest life. And then killed that monk. Allegedly. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Reuven, whatever they call you these days. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. Oh dear. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. <laughs> got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. Ah, oh, great. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! What the hell? Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Why wouldn't there be? An axe. How, how do you hide that uh, an axe that big in here? Now he has a sword. First ever body with my prick hanging out. <laughs> right. Can you get the fuck out of my way? Boy! And they're all dead. Nope, wait, there's more of them. You shit. There, beating him to death. What now? Not to loot or what? Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Well, I can just murder everyone. How about that? Who pranced in right before they attacked? Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. <sighs> Gotta see Horson. Talk to them. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Personal matter. It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, is a bloody nightmare. <laughs> he was lots more trusting when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out your fucking minds. A chat session. Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, wanna find Horse Sun? Find me first. Eh, yeah, sure I guess. So where will I find Junior? Hope I find any clue on Junior's whereabouts. Be grateful for any lead. Siggy, it's worth a try. 
Geralt's got a knack for finding people, and he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it then. I'll uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk in private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. <laughs> here, Can you believe it? I'm yeah. a soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. <laughs> Listen, Reuben. No, Deekstra. She's not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel clock about. <laughs> what? Well, you gotta go strong, eh? Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's gotta be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. But the bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue though. Alright. Casino, where is it? Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Mm. Orson's got now to do with a casino officially, so careful of you, sir. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Hmm? Oh. Alright. And how do I find the arena? Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Oh, thank Sewers you. Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to yeah. enter through the pits and endure the stench of poverty on the way. Huh? Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hold on. Ugh. This thing's falling apart. Oh, sorry. Been as well, hmm? Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. Mm hmm. Alright. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. <laughs> How about Dandelion? Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine <laughs> and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. As far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trap door. God damn my way, it's so fucking messy! Alright, what's so irritable? Seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. 
I know I've been unbearable lately, but at my age, the menopause, what with hot flushes <laughs> and violent mood swings. Digstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? Yes, you moron. I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? You got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah. Might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. Establish what happened to him. Sure. Can help what you need. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that, Charlie. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Alright. Why the hell am I back over here? What the? Oh. Wait, what the? Be so kind as to follow me. Ah. <clears throat> Fair enough. What are we doing down here again? Oh, Bart, not a cheat you saw. Bart, stop that. Now! What the? Bart! Bart makes Ziggy lose Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that! Bart Hall! Bart less thinking! Bart less thinking! Bart sadness! Why'd you bring me here? don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. Alright. You see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. Ooh. Oh god! Then boom! Chorfoot go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold. And all the lighter stuff, and you will help me get it back. Fine. Why the hell not? Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Gotta look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. First off, how the hell that hole got, got through the hole? Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Bredania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. That's oh what I'm thinking no. too. Boom! Hole. Bad look, what go? But look, no, only sleep. Bad shoes, head for Ah, oh. can you elaborate? Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom. An explosion. Big. This like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. What about the bad mushrooms? Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. 
The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Oh. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers on the side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know. But mm -hmm. extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hold. What see? Boom! Got what? Breathe. Shroom. Sleep go. Jelfon gone. Bad troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Any track down the thieves? Try to track down the thief yourself. Of course. I had this lummox fonts thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. I told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. Ooh. I value the lives of my men. I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Mm hmm. What kind of something? Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it? No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Mm-hmm. The sewer it is then. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that pop's antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life. Here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. You're down to my own weapon if you got yourself in too hard. Hmm. Some more seaweed mushroom. Oh dear. Vibe's great. Explosion crumpled in like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Last tore it from the wall. Well, it was. I'd say it was. Ah. Shouldn't go any further without taking that antidote. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Crap. Right then. God. There's an oil too. Magic lamp. Oh dear. The hell did it, did it go this time? Food and drink, all right. Where the hell is it? I don't know. Ooh, I like that. And now what? But 
now what indeed? Most of these ones here are being taken care of. The bombs over here are well, too here. Poison damage. Eh. Why the hell not, I say? Why the hell not? Dumpling. Oh. Where the hell is magical help over here? Huh. The hell? Yeah, there's a skull over here too. What the hell is it? Got a lot of crafting shit over here though too. Hmm. I might put one of these ones over here. Bombs over here too. And quite that at best too. Why are bombs over here in, the, in these ones? Leave the one out there for now. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I know I read these ones already. Buckets. <sighs> right, right, right. Yeah, that clearly didn't work out well. Over here at least. <laughs> nah, forget about that one for now. What about alchemy as well too? Yeah, I don't know. Not a lot of different things over here can have fun with, but no. But what about? Oh, well, they're not. Whoosh. Seems about right. <laughs> One more time, can we talk? Siggy, you like. Talk me with. No one seen anything strange before the break in. Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? Suspicious. But no understand. Something not normal, something strange. Maybe you 
saw, felt, heard something. Ah! Yeah. Back here. Uh, like uh, a piece. Uh, let's see, it's like a snake. What kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No. A piece of Not animal or that. Right. So, like what? Like. Rock? A hissing rock. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bomb, yeah, that's what you're referring to. Where did it came from? The hissing. Where did it come from? But his here in that tree. What? Where? Where but turdy dump. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Let's change the subject. Good. But time got joyful go. But God, now nothing. <sighs> Why do you like Siggy so much? Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. Siggy can't take part. He locked you up alone underground. Don't get bored down here. Not much to do. When but not much do. But think not. About what about? What about, if you don't mind my asking? Rocks. <laughs> Rocks. Rocks interesting. I suppose. So long. <sighs> Thanks for your help. So long. No. 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 Is he crazy? <laughs> right, right. Enhanced insectoid oil. What has he got? Some just things over here too. I wonder what these ones are. Raw meat. Uh, well, I get it. And there is the X this place, but no, I mean this time we need to actually go in there, but I mean to find out to find out where. Meditation. Uh. <clears throat> Fair enough. The fuck is it? There you go. Yeah, I got the oil over here for the vampire oil. oil. Now, where the hell is it? Oh! <clears throat> Never mind! Uh, I thought Richard's potions were vile. Yeah, it's seen rock, he said. But no, those are drowners. Yep, drowners, they are alright. Yeah. 
Yeah, even another one will too. Ah, here we go. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall two. Now mm. house drain pipes seem to converge here. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding the pieces of this pipe clear over here? Must have been one powerful blast. Be seeing things all too. Yes. Anything else I'm missing? Of course I am. Of course I am. Maybe plenty more of these things just. Lying around here somewhere. Now, place like this, you'd expect to find something, but no, there isn't. Yeah, that works. Silver. At least I wouldn't mind. I was just poking around here, just seeing, seeing what else could could tackle onto or whatnot. All right, don't think you're that, I suppose. You asshole! Eh, whatever. Sheesh. Uh, I'm just, just a queen, no character, just putting character some, uh, some strain of exercise. Guess if we give us a bit of a bad habit on that. Now to see what point of my stupidity set me back now. There's only one or two now. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, what can I do about it, right? What can I do about it? Ah, fuck it. <sighs> She'll come about to sleep at some point. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall two. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. Uh, And even more.
Oh my god! here unfortunately oh whatever anything else I'm missing I hope not He's upstairs. Hmm. I'd like to see what this will end up end up leading into. Yeah, seems to have it in for these uh, plants or whatnot. Whatever these are. What else am I missing over here? Right, no NPCs in sight, thankfully. And nothing to loot here, unfortunately. Are you crazy? I can't examine that one. But oh, whatever. At least not here. At the right side over here. And what a place this is. I do. What do you want? They're investigating. Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well. Learn anything. What the fuck just just fell? Found piece of a bomb. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bomb of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I, from what I observed. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Unless... You know reversed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. This is no time to reminisce. You have to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? The bomb was inside the pipe. The bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. So the that means... Came to rest on the grate. 
and to quote Bart, Big Boom. Thieves were loaded the treasure in that uh, boat. Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates, left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novograd. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Mm-hmm. So where had the bomb? Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Hatton keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. <laughs> Feel honored to be acknowledged. <laughs> oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Mmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. That's interesting. Mm. What well, I got over here? Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Huh. How suspicious, I'd say. Up oh, here we go. The lid matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Boom. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop chop. Let's see what happens. What By the way, happens not a suspect. By the way, what about happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes. Ironic as that may sound, but his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters. Spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. See what the bottom. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning we flushed the bomb down here. But how? Happen. Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Who is that? Margrave Henkel. Who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old Cook's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel? You saw an impersonator? Think for once! They scooped out your balls, not your brain! And you yeah. don't start looking into this. Where'd I start? Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Right. Can you get the fuck out of my way? Why is this place so goddamn dark as well too? I'm running to walls. Fair enough. Around. 
Oh. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what it done. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. And Elaine made some interesting friends. Oh, hasn't he? Oh, hasn't he? Ah. Uh, that's how. Maybe that's how. Footsteps. Footprints. Uh, what else we got? Oh my god. We get some lighting this place over here for one. There we go. Oh my gosh, we got something over here too? Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Well, at least what it looks like. Oh, for fuck's sake, I love it when the... Uh, I just love it when the chair start nibbling at my goddamn feet. What else we got? Up over here. A letter. And a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or series. Who knows, I'd say. Who knows? Doesn't open over here directly, does it? What I got here? How could that? Okay. What else we got in a place like this? Oh, wait a moment. That's right. door over there could open apparently. Why else could it be? Twelve forty-five to twelve fifty-four. Hmm. Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Oh, why the hell wouldn't it? Letter from Doo Doo. Siri, Menge is following me. Yes, he sees the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Holy shit, what that Menge later? A Nazi death doctor? Holy shit. Eh, probably Stay. not. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstein. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium. Looks like they made the bomb here. Oh dear. Some call the bomb threats. Some call the bomb squad over here. Assassin Gullets. Huh. 
fair enough. Now this might be where shit, where shit is the fan. I suppose. Dijkstra and Triss. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. <laughs> ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Yep. All the signs point to Mang. Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Ah, uh, told everything. Henkel told me. The old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Manga has got the treasure, really. Alright, I lied. But only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish. But you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something, and that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Mm. Manga has been spending heaps of coin lately, but to my knowledge he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Manga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Yeah, doubt he'll see you willingly. Doubt Manga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Yeah. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive with my treasure. Sure, sure. Tris and I, it's on the past. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summer to Block Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Bontar. But you know what they say, old love never dies. <laughs> first, first love. Now how the hell? <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. <laughs> that was awkward. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. What would you have said my place? Put yourself in my shoes. What would you have said? In your shoes, I wouldn't be worrying about what to say to Dijkstra. At all. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Well, oh, duh! Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere. And Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. Alright, see you then. Thanks. <laughs> right. What's the 
The hell? Wait, how the hell? Huh? At midnight. Oh. Eh, should probably be quite cozy until then. Took a look at the building, and it does not look good. You mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Mind explaining what it's all about? Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series 2. No such thing as too risky. Ah, oh, Christ. <sighs> okay, then. Ugh. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Right, then. Let's go. Still got a bad feeling about this, but tough. Let's go. All right. All righty then. Gerald, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? <laughs> the hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri. She's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to. All right? Hmm. All right. Gotta love how the massive ten goes from from silver to bronze to gold and so on. Right. What do we got this time? What do you want? Here for my reward. The L4. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. <laughs> I can't wait to skewer that pastor alive, to be honest. Well, well. Triss Merigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches? They murder kings. Scheme. Start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! Ouch. You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Mm hmm. I want to talk to Mang. Not so fast. I hand her over to Manga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? 
Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. I got something off from Mang. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. Ooh. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? I'll tell your boss, not anyone else. Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. <laughs> this ought to be quite something. And probably that might, might have been the... The wolf mask. Oh dear. Oh, never mind. Scram before I lose my patience. Scram before I lose my patience. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail off. Ugh. To get you singing. <laughs> Makes me cringe. Fine. But no torturing. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. <laughs> You're making great money. <laughs> don't you worry. Menga will give you your coin. Marigold will get what she deserves. Alright, take her. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. Ugh. That's dancing skeletons painted in blood. I believe I told you not to let anyone in, unless they had information concerning Philippa Eilhart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can claim that. We'll start with your pinky there. Now, let's go for your ring finger. Uh... This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merrigan. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, okay. let us talk. Sit. Sit. <sighs> Have a drink, Witcher. No, thank you very much. Not in the mood. Not in the mood. You've two choices, Witcher. Drink or die. Fine. It might have been poison, I suppose. Sedarian. A 1261 vintage. Year of the Massacre of Sintra. Oh dear. Stop squirting. <laughs> this little pretty went home! Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons for this. Ah. Oh. This goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a doppler. Ah, oh, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. <laughs> Your hundreds of torch and trips, but I haven't been paid. 
Still haven't paid me for the witch. Yet your hunters are already torturing her. What of it? You're damaging goods you haven't paid for yet. This looks like the Admiral's pay. Tamax just makes everything look better. Way better. This little piggy has no. The fingernail. Ah, the thing. Don't worry, you shan't leave empty handed. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Marigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. Hmm. Witchers, uh, would do anything for gold. Yeah, I've plowed Triss. But what does it matter if you're paying gold for her head? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nearly forgot the mutation strip witches of feelings. Be brave, dear. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa. But I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? Free my friend Dandelion. It's simple. Free Dandelion. A degenerate bird for information about Philippa. Tempting offer, I admit. But I must say no. You see, I have a magnificent execution plan for Dandelion in Oxenford. A breaking wheel, flaying alive, and so forth. It should work wonders for the mores of the academic youth and townsfolk. When is this morally instructive spectacle due to take place? When I issue the order, in person. Dandelion will remain in the dungeons beneath Temple Isle until then. Ooh. So sorry I cannot be of help. Perhaps we can agree different terms. First, let's see how Miss Marigold fears it. It's going suspiciously quiet in there. Come. Yeah. She escaped. <laughs> now this ought to be fun. Good. <laughs> hey, you get off. She doesn't look too hot. She might fall down. Rushed him a bit. How do I say this? That was just a bit premature. What do you mean? <laughs> Magnus of Dandelion's locked up on Temple Line, dungeon right under the temple. He was planning to execute him in Oxenford. Also said they'd only let Dandelion out of his cell once Manga gave the order, in person. Shit. I'm sorry, Gary. I should have thought it through, but when I saw him, I... I know. I know. Eh, no need to... Can't What's wait. done is done. He... He'd never have agreed to help us. Even if I... I know. Let's not dwell on this. We should think about what to do next. Dandelion's safe for now, though out of reach. We don't stand a chance of breaking him out. Temple Isle's impregnable, and Menga's not likely to order his transfer, or anyone's for that matter. <laughs> Let's loot his body. Let's search his corpse. Right. Could find something that'll help us. Besides, why even bother bringing him back to life, right? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. 
Something sewn in the lining. In real what is it? Be. The key to a vault. Ooh. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I'll gladly do as uh, as told. Manga burned a sheet of paper too. Saw Manga burn a sheet of paper right before we came in here. Could have been something on it that would have helped us. Ah, too late now. So there's no way you could recover the note. Sadly, no. I'm a sorceress, not a miracle worker. <laughs> Necromancy seems like our only hope. Could you revive him? Maybe. If I actually practiced black magic. Haven't sunk in that low just yet. Nothing but dead ends. We'll need to make do. Uh, maybe breaking out dandelion is the only option. Breaking dandelion out is starting to look like our last option. Geralt, you know me. I'm all for finding solutions. I don't give up easily. But in this case, there's no hope. Not a shred. No one escapes the dungeons beneath the temple. And no one's ever been broken out. Anyone actually tried? They've tried, Geralt. I've tried, to be exact. Shortly before you arrived. It almost cost me my life. So that's why she was, uh... Being haunted for, eh? Right. Manga's the only one who could have ordered Dandelion's release. Yes. Or someone who looks exactly like him. And a Doppler. Mm hmm. Your old friend Dudu Bibervelt impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. <laughs> yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there is one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, not now. Come by when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. Simple. Hold my beer. Don't mind me if I loot this place, eh? Uh, ooh. Darwin spirit. I either go out another way or ready my sword. Garrett, over here. I kind of wonder how the hell this is going to go, but alright. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. <laughs> too much evidence. Yeah. But I also need to blow off some steam. <laughs> well then. Now that was pretty that was pretty straight straightforward, I guess. Now what the hell? Yeah, no way through here. No way push it to the door. What about... Knew it. You there, Mr. Roven wants a word. Alright. Bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Do I spy? Why is Geralt of Rivia? <laughs> will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. 
Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. Ooh. A vault that I need to find on my own. You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. But at least the, the access point, we can find it. No, what season in, in parting? That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark, no scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me. You didn't dare <clears throat> to share that information with me. Stop crying, get your treasure back. What? You'll get your treasure back, won't you? No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure. So stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. Oh, I please. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. Don't bother. I know what happened to Dandelion. Then take my coin. I always pay my debts, even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. <clears throat> Ever. Ungrateful prick. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Now to talk to Priscilla. Uh, a newbie grab. Yes, yes. And a bar. Or... I don't know. Just booking around. See what I might be around. Ah, oh, fuck it. Faster. How I wish. Just running around through town with a beheaded griffin. Touch the to the horse's thigh. <laughs> uh, now I know to go right towards <laughs> Come on now. There, that should do at least for now. The barmaid. Uncouth. Be gone with you. Leave me be, or I shall call my husband. Uncouth. Hag. Stop coming here. And us, uh, here we are. Hello. Got some news about Dandelion. Dandelion, I know where he is. What? Dungeons on Temple Isle. That's not a nice jest. No jest, sadly. But don't worry, we'll pull him out. Triss has an idea. All we gotta do is find Doodoo. So you must find Doodoo in order to find Dandelion, with the aim of ultimately finding Siri. Sounds like an awful lot of searching, but I do wish you luck. Don't have a choice. I gotta meet Horson Jr. 
he might know something. And how do you meet? How she meet Dandelion? That's what we want to know. Tell me, you and Dandelion, how do you meet? At a poetry tour in Elda. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just hm. at first. Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. I want to see ya. Take care now. Why the hell not? Ooh. Looking to enlist with a temple guard. Hold on. Oh, that's why. That's what it was. Oh, blimey. To puke or not to puke, that is a question. <laughs> uh, how much as it would be? I'll be. Okay. I'm about to have to get legs. Can he run just a little bit faster? That'd be amazing. Short and have around. Because we're comrades, see? Butcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches are a law. Old villagers, butcher. <sighs> Lords out with their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Yes, I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come, don't make us beg. What's the witch you for, anyways? It's to help men in need. I gotta have a bit of a. All right. Fine, take this. That's what I call loyalty to the guild. Thank you, master. We'll not want back in your honor. Right. <laughs> Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. I, her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. <laughs> Taking to Skellige. Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Ever been there? Ever sailed there? Listen, the islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, they'll fight, for instance. They attack him more, but truth be told, not much more. Nor did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough skelliger for a lifetime. <laughs> all right. Uh, fair enough. Also, 
<laughs> Looks like rain. No shit, Sherlock. Sailor, sailor. To you. Need to get to Skellig. I'm Skellig bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the Black Ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverston from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows him. Right, right. A Dranko. Where's the Dranko at? Where's the Dranko? You, Wolverston, captain of the Atropos. So you want to know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverston? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me. We're due to sail for our uh, Skellig. Carrying grain. But that's our shush. <laughs> Got any coin? Sure. Here. That enough? Hefty sack. Like a bull's. When do we say? I'm sure you're ready. Barely stand. No, this strength. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the walking bearable. So, ready to set sail? Sure. Let us go. Let's go. Ah, first, in the strength of the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. That's all right. Well, gave the price, I suppose quite fair. What else he doing? The handle's new near too close to hat and then Jesus Christ, a lazy bum! And those are gonna come and get the swords. I'm gonna fight my way through to get to them. Well, not likely at least. Oh dear. This looks fun.
Ah, uh, happens to pick up fights, then so be it. I gotta beat him to death. Boy. Get the freaking sword out. What are you doing? Oh. That's rather unfortunate. Wake your shipwreck into something else that would happen. <sighs> oh dear, I say. <sighs> Swords check. Spellcaster check. Mask check. Oh, look at that, there's a roach. What do you think you're grabbing out there, boy? Woofo. Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afraid to die. Rob corpse as much? Rob every corpse that washes up on shore. Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap. I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Horn Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. What's the uh, Krach guest look like? Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. <laughs> the fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Sorceress can't be like that. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to care, Trolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Right. What about, what about the wolfo? Troll fast. Rope ladder. Yeah. Oh, all right then. Executioner's boots even. Minus nine. Plus six. Basically the same damn thing. What the? Ah. Uh. And those aren't harpies. Move it! Hmm. That might be a bad wolf -o. And these people seem more to be more of a barbarian. 
Oh. Nah, Viking, I see them more. Who would this be? You need not do this, child. I know. But I won't. Madness. Such a young lass. Ernie should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. It is her decision. And, uh... Look who we have here. Thank you. Nice to see you again. <laughs> the eulogy. King Bran of Clan Tuirzach has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. As they please. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Oh. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black One. The gates of Care Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Go to wake with me? Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. 
slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. <laughs> Read your mind? Reading my mind again. Mm. What's more, I like what I see. <laughs> Did you learn anything in Velen? Quite a few. As far as Velen's concerned. Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen, Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. Ah. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. As for Novigrad... Ciri found Dandelion in Novigrad. They met up. They robbed one crime boss and almost killed another. Ciri was looking for something. She needed coin and information. That's all I know at this point. Gotta find Dandelion and talk to him. So Dandelion knows what happened to Simi? Yeah, gotta find him. And as you've learned... How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Mm-hmm. Ermion is the chief druid here? Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle. Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Siri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. Why won't he let you get into the zone? So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. <laughs> Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! <laughs> Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. Hmm. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Mm -hmm. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I have something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Ah. Right. How about the, uh, the fella over there? The king is dead. Long live the king. You look all well. So with yourself. Go to Jennifer's room for a formal attire. Hold on. Seem like I leveled up as well too. Ah, here we go. And not all that far away anyways. Good. What the fuck is that thing?
Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh fucking shit. I right, think I can get out of here. Level 28. I'm fucked if I ever go near that thing. Not you guys are pretty powerful, little too. There are like two of them to face off the door, too. But what are they doing here? Right then. Right then. This tends to be quite a bit of an interesting boss battle, nonetheless. I have to put the sword to it, all too. Yeah, because of that. Ah, you asshole! Bad, I suppose. Oh, thanks, lady, for getting away. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ, could these people just be quite even more? Oh, like three of them now. Oh, shit. Yeah, they close all too. How the hell they got down even? Oh my god! Now there's four of them, how? Get out of there! Jesus Christ. Get out of there! Right, not bueno, no bueno. What the fuck? Are they respawning yet again? Yeah, they are respawning. Jesus. Huh. Oh no shit I did. I can either regret or regain them. What's your step? Not the Yamong! Why are there like a lot of these retards all too all of a sudden? Get the fuck out of my way. What the fuck is going on? One, two. There you go. Greetings. <sighs> Smooth seas this morn. 
as if the gods themselves were paying their respects to the great Conan Bran. You a tailor? I am. Only one in the Isles, most like. Hmm. Take it you're good with scissors. Give me a haircut. It ain't something I usually do, but it wouldn't be right to turn down a traveler. I suppose. I can do haircuts. Long and loose. Like it should have been for the first from the get go. Oh, hell yeah! Clean shave, full beard, a bushy goatee, short mustache. Sure. I suppose, suppose. Eh, looks looks better that way. <laughs> so long. You hiss at me one more time. Better save the game here this time. Expensive this one must have been. There we go. Hmm. A megascope. Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhart said, megascopes and toothbrushes, deeply personal possessions. I got over here. To Scient of Vries, the poison source. Still turns to it for inspiration. Okay. I think she'll probably sleep at some point. And yeah, it seems like it's a silver sword in some damage. Journeyman. Need more? Not a problem. There. Now stop complaining. This one should be more potent. I hope. Uh. Oh dear. Fair enough. But that'll be for another time, because I hope you guys enjoyed this one, this one as much as I did. And I have to look forward to the next one. So I hope to see you guys next time, and until then...